Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. See? A single human hair can support 3.5 ounces of weight. That's how much two candy bars weigh. Our hair color is easily explained by genes. There's not more than 2% of people with natural red hair. They're followed by blondes and by all the varieties of brown shades. The vast majority goes to black hair, including very dark brown. Yeah, your hair can stop growing at a certain length. A hair usually grows from 2 to 7, so usually it doesn't exceed 42 inches. Well, tell that to this gal from China, who broke all the hair records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, her hair was 18 feet, 5 and a half inches long. With age, your hair loses its natural color. It happens because keratin receives less pigment. As people grow older, the pigment cells in their hair follicles gradually vanish, and hair becomes gray. Some time passes and no pigment is produced at all. That's when hair turns white. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears and fluid in front of your eyes. A human eye has some resemblances to a car engine. They both need various liquids to perform properly. An engine needs gasoline and an eye needs tears. In order to work well, the tears should be thoroughly distributed all over the eye. That's why we blink up to 20,000 times a day. So, a lid is a bit of a windshield washer. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. They're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. That's why when the reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within about 100 milliseconds. No more than 0.1 seconds. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about one millionth combinations on average, you see? The inability to distinguish colors, also known as color blindness, affects around 8% of males and 0.5% of females. But colors themselves aren't as stable and objective as they might seem. Multiple tests have shown that people experience colors differently, depending on many factors such as geographical location, language, and gender, to name a few. It means that you can enjoy the same sunset with your friend and see completely different colors without even knowing it. Just like fingerprints, your eye color is unique. It can even affect the way you perceive light and make your vision one of a kind. To understand how this is possible, you gotta figure out how the eye color is formed. This is the iris, the colored part of the eyeball. The iris contains pigmentation, and its content determines what eye color you have. Every human has a slightly different amount of pigmentation. That's why you won't find two people with identical eye colors. Three specific genes in your body are responsible for melanin levels and determine pigmentation. Blue and green-eyed people have less melanin in their iris, and those who have more melanin have darker eye colors, like brown and hazel. Some rare people have beautiful deep black eyes, but this is only an optical illusion caused by the abundance of melanin. Pure black iris doesn't exist in nature. Although these eyes look very dark, they're actually dark brown. Studies have proved that eye pigmentation impacts your vision. No matter how dark or light your eye color is, people with lighter eye colors are more sensitive to light, which may cause them to feel uncomfortable on sunny days. If you have a light eye color and have to squint when you go outside, don't forget to put on sunglasses. Your irises contain less pigment that serves as protection from the sun's rays. But since melanin acts like natural sunglasses, you have better night vision compared to dark-eyed people. On the contrary, if you have a darker eye color, your eyes can cope with bright light better during the daytime. Dark-eyed people should feel more confident while driving at night because they don't get blinded by car headlights that much. Your peripheral vision is almost completely black and white. It's because you have more color-detecting cones in the center of your retina than at the sides. 
Women can distinguish more colors than men because they have two X chromosomes. And men only have one. Even if something is wrong with one of the chromosomes, a woman can still see colors correctly. That's why women are rarely colorblind. There must be at least some photos where you have red eyes. When the camera flash goes off, your eyes aren't prepared for such an influx of light. Your pupils remain dilated, which is why the light gets reflected off the red blood cells of the choroid. This is a layer of tissue at the back of your eye that nourishes your retina. The weird-looking flies you see right in front of your eyes every now and then are eye floaters. You see them because of tiny structural imperfections in one particular part of the eye that gets in the way of light. They get worse with age. You spend 10% of the time when you're awake with your eyes closed. It's all those times you're blinking. Humans are capable of using echolocation like bats and dolphins. With some training, you can find your way in complete darkness analyzing the surroundings by sounds bouncing off objects. Don't need to practice that. About 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. The main purpose of eyelashes is to shield your eyes and protect them from sand, moisture, dust, and debris in the air. Your eyelashes sense when something comes up too close to your eyes, like an insect flying towards you, and trigger your blink reflex. Blinking also helps when you need to flush out some tiny particles or debris stuck in your puncta. Those are small openings you have in your eyelids. That's where the tears get pumped out. Your eyebrows stop sweat from running directly into your eyes. Your skin there and the shape of your bones also work together to direct the sweat towards the sides of your face. Onions produce a special chemical irritant. It stimulates special glands in your eyes, causing them to release tears. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture, so an onion might seem no different than a big, refreshing apple. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose doesn't just help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. Your nostrils don't work with the same efficiency all the time. When you breathe, one nostril does most of the work, and they switch every couple of hours. 18% of people can move both ears at the same time, while 22% can move one ear at a time. People who can do it use weak vestigial muscles we got from our ancestor humans, who had this trait in common with cats. Some people can produce a roaring noise in their heads. All they have to do is tense their ears or jaws. There's a small muscle in the ear. It dampens loud sounds, like when you're chewing. But some people can flex that muscle and that creates an audible rumble. Your teeth are the only part of your body that cannot heal itself. Some people even see colors as letters and numbers, or hear them. Those who live closer to the Arctic Circle can name different shades of snow, because that's what they see all the time. To others, it's just white. Some languages only have general names for colors. For example, dark stands for cool hues like black, blue, and green. Colors like white, red, orange, and yellow are all called warm. Your eye processes more variations of warmer colors than cooler ones. There's a tribe in Australia who describes texture, the function of an object, and how it feels instead of its color. They don't have any names for colors at all. The Kandoshi, who live on the banks of the Amazon River in Peru, don't have a word that would describe the very concept of color. 
Instead, the name of some yellow bird will be used to describe the yellow color. Any ripe fruit will stand for red, and unripe fruit for dark green. A lot of people lose their ability to perceive some colors as they get older. By around the age of 70, their eye lenses become yellowish. This natural yellow filter they look through doesn't let them tell blue from purple and yellow from green. Half of your brain is hardwired to process visual information. A much smaller part is left to perceive flavor. That's why the color of food or drink can boost or curb your appetite. You'll always choose the reddest apple because your brain perceives it as the sweetest and ripest. There are no naturally blue foods, so you're least attracted to them and can even fear them. That's why installing a blue light in your fridge or eating from blue plates is a great way to eat less. You'll always choose brighter foods and vegetables because they're associated with a richer flavor. Eating them makes you feel healthier and happier. Yellow can boost your appetite as you associate it with energy and excitement. White can trick you into eating more and paying less attention to what you're munching on. That's because white food seems more harmless in terms of calories. If you eat from a white plate, you're more likely to overeat as it makes your food look brighter. Your brain also remembers the color of food wrapping. If you put salt and vinegar chips into a cheese and onion package, you might not even notice the difference in flavor while snacking on them. Food companies know that you'll eat more of whatever they're selling when it comes in different colors and flavors. Red gives you courage and strength for physical work. Yellow makes you happier and more productive and confident. Green brings balance and harmony to the office environment. Your eyes also love this color. They don't need time to adjust to it. Orange gives you a sense of comfort and warmth, so it's perfect for an office lounge. Birds, fish, and many mammals see the entire color spectrum in all its glory, just like humans. For some animals, good color vision is crucial. Without it, they won't tell ripe fruit from unripe green fruit. Whenever we yawn, we use the muscles in our mouth and tongue, and the contact can squeeze some of the saliva-producing glands. As a result, we might squirt a tiny stream of saliva without even noticing it. I had a friend in college who could do it at will. It was impressive. It turns out that saliva is basically filtered blood. Blood is processed thanks to special glands, and special cells absorb its properties. After that, the blood becomes saliva. People with red-colored hair are 1% of all people. 2% are natural blondes. Yeah, most people you see with these hair colors have dyed hair. Black is the most common hair color in the world. Your memory is affected by your body position. For example, you're much more likely to recall a situation where you wave to someone if you stand and wave again. Most scientists agree that tears that appear out of emotion are a unique human feature. No other animal is capable of crying because of sadness or joy. The pupils narrow and expand in order to control the incoming light. If there's a lot of light, they narrow the passage for light so as not to harm the vision. In the dark, the pupils expand to capture as much light as possible. The tongue has a lot of muscles, and some of them can strain only when you're learning a new language. A human bite almost always becomes infected because of all the bacteria that live in our mouth. In this sense, we're quite close to hyenas. Your bones are designed to be used a lot daily, and some of them can absorb two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still stays one of the dirtiest parts of the human body. Ugh! Millions of bacteria live inside it. The good news is that most of these bacteria are good for the body and protect it from bad bacteria and viruses. In the morning, you're taller than in the evening. While sleeping, you're no longer affected by the force of gravity and your spine stretches. Too bad you become shorter by daytime, though. A roller coaster actually tosses your organs around, so you feel like your stomach's falling down. It's actually flipping inside your body. You think your fingerprints are the only unique thing in your body? Well, they're not. Your tongue print and your smell are also one of a kind. If anyone sniffs you, it's reason enough to get suspicious. 
If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, boy, that would hurt, but it would go around the earth more than twice. An impressive feat that you wouldn't see because, well, you can't live without your blood vessels. Toothache and headache are linked together thanks to the trigeminal nerve. It goes through the jaw right to the head, so that when you feel tooth pain, it usually goes hand in hand with that in your head. You lose calories doing literally anything. A healthy 8-hour sleep, for example, makes you lose up to 800 calories. And yes, you spend energy even while eating. A person can go without food for more than 20 days. However, if you don't sleep for 10 days, your body will simply stop functioning. Talking about sleep, the average person forgets 90% of their dreams. And maybe that's a good thing. Otherwise, imagine how crazy the world would have been. The color of your dreams is affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If you're of an older generation that watched black and white TV, you'll see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams will also be colorful. Out of every 10,000 people on Earth, one person has their organs mirrored or reversed from their usual and customary positions. That is, their liver would be larger on the left side and the kidney would be a bit superior to the left one. People with light-colored eyes, blue or green, are better at tolerating pain than those with dark eyes. Scientists think it might be related to melanin that affects the color of the eyes. The length of your foot is similar to that of your forearm. Don't believe me? Go check. I'll wait right here. Nah. We have seven major holes in our bodies. Our mouths, our ears, nose, eyes, and our, you know, down under. Hey, we're Australian. G'day, Mike. We're also a Taurus, if you dig geometry. A human ring, a donut, a life buoy, or even a bagel. Mmm, bagel. Don't forget the schmear. Seriously, counting the pores in your skin and the rest, there'd be millions of holes though. Trillions more likely. Holy cow, we're holy! Bodies throw thermal radiation off as a tiny amount of light. This light is 1,000 times less visible than normal light, so you're not a torch yet. Breathe in deep through your nose. Air only goes up one nostril at a time. And our nostrils take turns at it. Sharing is caring. Our brains tell us when our bodies hurt, but they can't feel pain themselves. There are no pain receptors in the brain. That feeling of your stomach rising is what actually happens. Hold on. Every human has a unique smell except for identical twins. They share the same DNA and the same smell. Our fingerprints aren't just for identifying us to the police if we've done something wrong. The ridges allow our skin to stretch to prevent damage and improve our sense of touch. When you're scared, you can become a lot stronger than you were before. Maybe not lift a car strong, but you won't feel pain or fatigue as quickly. Hey, not to freak you out or anything, but every second, your body creates 25 million new cells. I'll do the math for you. That means that in about 15 seconds, you'll have produced more cells than there are people in the United States. Think about that next time you feel you haven't been productive enough. It may account for only 2% of our body mass, but our brains actually take up 20% of our blood supply and oxygen. Our brains can also produce enough energy to supply a light bulb. That is, when we're awake. Ever thought about what the largest human organ is? It's your skin and is thickest on the palms of your hands and soles of your feet. I know, I know, I hate dusting too. But you are particularly responsible for that layer of fluff on your TV screen, you know. Every human being sheds about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. And most of the dust around your house is actually composed of that. So yes, we're all rather flaky. These days, it's considered more of a beauty mark. But the reason why people are born with a cupid's bow is actually quite intriguing. As our features start to develop before we're even born, it appears that the cupid's bow is actually the place where our face, well, zips up. The right side of the face and the left side of the face, that is. While in humans, it may not be that obvious. If you look at your dog's nose, you'll see it has a straight vertical line just under the nostrils. That's right, dogs have this zip too. Did you know you were born with more bones than you have today? At birth, we have somewhere around 300 bones. But as we age, some of them fuse together. 
That's why in adulthood, we end up having about 200 bones. Although your teeth are technically part of your skeletal system, they're not actually bones. They do look sort of similar and do share some characteristics, like being the hardest element in your body. Why the misconception, though? Well, it's mostly because both teeth and bones contain calcium. To be a bit more specific, about 99% of the body's calcium is in your bones and teeth. The remaining calcium is in your bloodstream. So what makes them different, you might ask? It's in how the bones and teeth heal and how you should take care of them. While bones can repair and heal themselves, your teeth aren't able to do that. That's why we have dentists. We don't only have unique fingerprints, our tongues are one of a kind as well. Research has shown that those approximately 10,000 taste buds on our tongues are laid out in a unique pattern, specific for each one of us. About 80% of what you believe is taste is actually smell. The combination of taste and smell that we perceive is what we come to know as flavor. It's probably because our sense of smell is around 10,000 times stronger than our sense of taste. So, the next time you're tuning in your favorite song, try to pay some attention to your heartbeat. Do you hear that? Yep, that's right. While listening to some music, your heartbeat will sync with the rhythm of the song. And speaking of that healthy ticker of yours, just in case you're wondering, it beats on average about 75 times per minute. This means that in any given year, a human heart can pump enough blood to fill an Olympic-sized pool. What's even more fascinating is that if you were to connect all your blood vessels end-to-end, you'd be able to circle the Earth four times. But that would really hurt, so don't try that. We are the only species on this planet to have a chin. There's still some debate around this subject in the scientific community, but one of the reasons seems to be to make our jaws stronger. We needed something to help with increased jaw resistance. That transparent part of your eye is called the cornea, and it helps the light go through. It's also the only part of your body that isn't connected to any blood supply. Why? Because it's especially designed to get its oxygen straight from the surrounding atmosphere. If you took out all the fat found in a healthy human body, it would be enough to make 7 bars of soap. We also produce enough saliva in our lifetimes to fill two swimming pools. Great expectorations! Ever wondered how much we actually eat during our whole lifetimes? I'll spare you the math. An average-sized person eats nearly 66,000 pounds of food throughout the whole course of their lifetime. How much is that for scale? About 6 elephants. And that ain't peanuts. Each of us carries around 4 pounds of bacteria on average at any given time in our bodies. But hey, don't go running to the doctor just yet. Most of that bacteria is actually good and have specific functions in the human body, like digestion and our immune systems. If you want to have an accurate depiction of your height, make sure you measure yourself in the morning. That's because you're about 0.4 inches taller right when you wake up. Trust me, it isn't magic. It's merely because, throughout the day, the soft cartilage between your spinal bones gets squashed down and compressed, making you seem shorter by the time you go to bed. We know that we have some sort of energy moving around our bodies, so we actually do emit a tiny amount of light. It's too weak for our own eyes to see, though, but if you think about it, you're actually glowing as we speak. The humorist and author Mark Twain once said, Man is the only animal that blushes, or needs to. How true. But not all humans can blush, and those that do blush to different degrees. Is there some sort of evolutionary reason for why we blush? It seems so. Blushing is a way for us to communicate without using any words. Just like dogs wag their tails when they're happy or excited. So basically, blushing can be translated to, I'm embarrassed. Similar to how we shiver when we're cold. If the human eye was a camera, it would have about 576 megapixels. Our vision of the world changes throughout our lives. As soon as we're born, we see the world upside down for a bit. Our brain is programmed to show the inverted image formed on our retina by the convict's eye lens. But that doesn't kick in immediately after birth. Hey, I'm sure you enjoy that weekly cardio and weightlifting, but the strongest muscle in the human body is definitely not the one you've been working on. It's actually in your jaws. Your jaws are designed similarly to a nutcracker. Why? So you can get powerful bites with as little energy as possible. The fastest muscle is located in your eyes. 
as probably how we came up with the expression in the blink of an eye for when something happens really quickly. Did you know that your nose comes with a built-in reset feature? It happens when you sneeze. Sneezing is basically your nose's way of getting rid of all the bad particles it has inhaled up to a certain point. If you think that's bad, it's not. Did you also think your pinky finger is something weak and pretty much useless? Well, it actually packs up to 50% of the strength in your hand. We still haven't figured out precisely why people yawn. Now, we aren't the only creatures to do it. Baboons, guinea pigs, and the Siamese fighting fish yawn to warn other animals to stay away. Penguins seem to yawn during courtship rituals, and snakes yawn at times after a good meal. Boy, there's a happy snake! Some theories suggest it helps us get more oxygen in, while others indicate that it helps with regulating our body temperatures. Either way, we still don't know for sure. Our ears and noses are the only organs that continue to grow throughout our lifetimes. Our eyes stay more or less the same size as we grow up. By the time we're 3 months old, our corneas should technically reach their full size. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.